Greetings, programs. This is Wretch, and welcome to the final episode of Season 2 of Starbound. It has been a very, very fun ride, and I'm buying some gas because we have a few errands to run today. We've got 20,000 pixels here, and decided that we're going to have our last episode here with Zen be kind of a cool one because I've had all the I have all these pixels and I intend to use them on one of these things that we actually have not experimented with the entire time that we've been here and that is with a hover bike so we are going to get a green hover bike we're not I don't care that much about the uh, boat so let's see what exactly we can do with this green hover bike control and with a few... what is that? Vehicle repair. Oh, okay, so that's what that's for. Cool, cool. Well, we have some gas. Let's head back to the Mako. I want to show you guys what I've been doing uh, with the Mako off-camera. I think you guys will be very pleased. So, I finally did the underground uh, dwelling here. I've turned this into a farm for all kinds of underwater type produce. Um, we got reef pods and such, so uh, Zen will never have to worry about going hungry. We've got Ziggy's house right over here. I put the ornate wall paneling here on the back. I am actually out of ornate wall paneling, <laughs> believe it or not. And um, I'm not exactly sure what to do with this room. I have an idea, but it's going to take a lot more wall paneling. I only have 90 wall paneling left but let's see if we can go ahead and do this and oh look Ziggy's on the elevator elevator go up elevator go down <laughs> so I think we'll make this a more traditional um, more like the upstairs area I put all the canvas down there because I figure other than that little pagoda with the wood we wouldn't want to have a whole lot of wood be um, underwater kind of like a, a pier because those don't tend to last very long. And this will... Okay, good. It didn't take away the stairway. This is very good. So I figure this is kind of like the junction to go back and forth between the kitchen and the underwater um, habitat. So, gotta make it look pretty cool. Let's put this down here on the background do our traditional uh, build and we still have some of these here don't we away with you guys now th this kind of mechanical background actually served me very well because if you listen closely you can hear those electrical panels that I got from the apex lab and I put those to good use here so let's get these here where they need to be and hopefully we will have enough of the ornate walls. I'm hoping and praying that would be nice. Put that right down the middle. Or actually, I don't think that is the middle. I actually think this might be an uneven space. But right now, let's uh, see what we have here. I can tell you right now we do not have enough wall paneling. No! We were so close. Hmm. So we're going to have to go to an ocean planet and see if I can get a bit more wall paneling. Either that or I go ahead and cut this area off. I suppose I could with a door. And just have this be... No, I don't even... I don't like that. Hmm. Not sure what to do here. We could make all of this just general wall... No, no, let's not even worry about it. We can go find some more wall paneling. But what I'm going to do is up here, I'm going to put the flower beds down. And do I still have it? Yes, I do. This is going to be kind of a cool uh, 
little zen area. Because we'd had these flower beds forever, we just never have used them. And where'd it go? Ah, I lost you. Where did you there you are? Put you smack dab there in the middle. And why for you Ah, okay, I see why you're being difficult. But we can get rid of that easy enough. And this will be just a nice little gardening type area for Zen to work at, right above the kitchen, so all the aroma from the flowers come up. I think that'll be pretty cool. Now, let me show you guys what I did with the engine room. I figured just removing the panels made pretty good mechanical uh, sense here. And I put these electrical panels back here on girders, so it looks like that's part of the engine. I actually also put the, um, uh, well, what is that called? The atomic furnace here to look like it's almost kind of part of the engine. And then I put the other stuff down here too, like the separators table and the sep or the robotic uh, crafting table. I think it's pretty simple and fits our needs pretty well for the engine room. Cargo bay is going to stay as is. I, I like the that everything else looks pretty businesslike. Now this is a force cage, but I figure in terms of science fiction, that's the shower and the bathroom facilities, and that that's just what we're going to call it. <laughs> it doesn't look um, doesn't look like traditional um, facilities in a sci-fi show, but we'll just go ahead and call that good. I think. And can we actually center that a little bit more? I figure Zen used some of his technical know-how and uh, ah, okay, I see. That's still much better. Um, and was able to convert one of those force cages into a nice shower. Now, I've worked on the bridge too, and I'm very proud, I think the bridge looks awesome. That is a control console for a ship of this size, don't you think? Now we've got to find, what are we looking for? Ah yes, we need to go to a jungle planet, preferably a system that has a jungle planet and a, um, and one of the poisonous ocean planets, because I found out that there's no food that grants a poison immunity, but we can make antidote. And for antidote, we need uh, some of that green goo that we use to make med packs. A bio sample, I think it's called. So I'm going to go ahead and try and find the right system, and I'll be right back, guys. So I am here on an ocean planet trying to find a few more of the ornate wall panelings, and I figure now would be a good time to try out this hover bike that we've got. Um, I've got some antidote for the poison ocean planet. Looking forward to trying that out. So we've got green hover bike... Con Ooh. Okay, so that happened. Now, how does one utilize this thing? Uh, hmm. Do we put it over the water, maybe? Oh, I don't know about that. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's, uh... This could be a horrible derp moment, putting it over the water. I remember Back to the Future, too. Hoverboards don't work on water. Ah! Excellent. We found a, uh... Oh! There we go! Oh! Wait! Okay. Back to the Future time. Oh, dear. Nope! Hoverboards don't work on water. And... Here we are on the ocean floor. Uh, well, we learned a lesson today. Let's fly back over here. So we would need the boat to actually travel across the top of the water. Well, thank you, Griff. Robert Zemeckis and friends for bringing that to my attention. Okay. So, why are you heading toward danger, guy? 
Now this one doesn't have a whole lot of paneling. I guess I'm going to have to try to find one without any resonance. Because those actually normally seem to be the best thing. As you can see, I'm just steel chair swinging on all of these guys. So let me find some more wall panelings and then we'll see what happens when we travel um, on a, one of the poison ocean worlds. So the mission was a rousing success. We were able to find a few more wall panels, just enough to go ahead and finish this. Now what I'll probably do, since this is really the only uh, room that has the ladder, is we'll use the traditional wooden steps up here, like so. Well, actually, probably a little bit better than that, but you guys get the idea. There we go. Now, to do what I've normally been doing here and painting these walls a little bit blue. Now, that looks strange right off the bat, but then it really makes these, uh, the paper lanterns, it really makes them pop. So we go back into the paint, and man, I got a lot of weapons. Where is it? The paint, there we go. And we set it back to its default color. And there we are. And now this is our nice little, uh, I want to change that up just a little bit. I'm not going for that much symmetry. I just want things to look a little bit even. Just a little bit. Not doesn't have to be too much. Actually, this would probably be a cool place for the uh, for the lanterns to hang off the side. Do we still have some lanterns? I don't think we have any in our inventory, but we can print those out easy enough. Yeah, the ornate lantern. We could do the wooden posts, but I don't think we'd have enough room. And since we're not really worried about pixels, we can afford to be a little bit greedy. So, we just hang the lanterns like so. And it's a nice little intimate... Uh, yeah, I like that. The darkness, as you can see, the blue, really gives it a nice glow vibe to it. So, that takes care of that, I'm glad to say. So now we need to... Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it... I keep on... I keep on, uh... Changing my mind here. And we just lost a little bit of water, that's unfortunate. What I'm gonna do is... It would make no sense to have ladder rungs on any of these areas that were just paper walls or just this flooring. It couldn't really support the weight. So I'm losing water here, which is unfortunate, but let's go ahead and set that down and then we can go ahead and have that and it'll actually look good, I'm thinking. And we'll do the same over here with the wall paneling. And then it'll just look a little bit more organic, a little bit more in in uh, in line with the motif that I was going for. It's a little taste of home. There we go. Much better. And I will do... Oh yeah, also. Oh, we lost the coral creep seeds. I forgot, once the water level drops to a certain amount, some of this stuff actually despawns. That's why you're not seeing any of the uh, glow plants. But I put some of the Zen rock formations here because I thought that looked kind of cool. So we've got to finish this up. And that might ruin the farm just a little bit, but it's okay. We can afford to be a bit messy. It is the last episode after all. Now I have had some people message me and ask when Starbound is if Starbound's ever going to come back in the event that I ended the series. And I really don't know the answer to that one, guys. I would like to play the game after it leaves beta. Uh, whenever that is. It's been in beta for a really, really long time. And that's not a bad thing. 
because they want to get it right before they actually release the full game. But I think I'll wait until the game is considered complete if I ever do play it again when they implement the hunger system and have all the stuff that they want to uh, add in the game in the game. You know what I mean? So we can overflow this a little bit. I'll show you a bit how I did it. And once it reaches this door, it'll automatically drain through that hole in the back. And we should be in good shape. So we can go ahead and reset the crops. And all will be well. So I will go ahead and finish this up. And I'll let you guys know when we're in orbit around an ocean planet. Or a poisonous ocean planet. Okay, the last time we tried this, it didn't end, end up well. But I have four antidotes which will give me about 20 minutes worth of immunity from any acid rain or anything that we run into down here on the planet. So, let's see what we can do. We're in the same system that the uh, ocean planet was on. And looks like we... Ow, ow, ow. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Let's, uh... Poison. Let's drinky, drinky. There we go. Oh, it still hurts. It still hurts us. Not good. Oh. Uh, okay, we're just gonna heal ourselves through this. Like, whatever. I do what I want. Well, this kind of world is just all kinds of unpleasant. So, surface bad. Let's actually head down here into the water. And is this just going to be a normal ocean planet down at the, uh, down in the depths? Oh no, it is very different. Lots of, uh, toxic love here. Hexes from Fern Gully would love this planet. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. The fact that I'm ending the series doesn't mean that I dislike um, Starbound at all. I actually really like it. I kind of like it better than Minecraft, to tell you the truth. But it's just... need to move on to some other things. And right now in beta, they kind of have that thing where after you do the quests... I'd like Starbound to be that really cool hybrid of crafting game and MMO. With all those quests and stuff, which was very different from a lot of the other crafting games that I've played. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the guys over at Chucklefish do with this because I've had a lot of fun with um, with Wretch and also with good old Zen here. And we've seen a lot of trials and tribulations for Zen. We've built the Mako into a very nice home for him. For him and Ziggy both. And also, I don't think we're going to find a whole lot down here other than toxic waste. That's not... That shouldn't be surprising at all. Oh, there's a chest. And, yep, toxic waste. Interesting. I knew it was, it was not... We weren't going to find any kind of, like, settlements or anything down here yet. But it was cool to check just to see. Ooh. That fish has a lot of eyes. But I don't think we're going to find anything that we haven't really seen before. So let's just go ahead and beam ourselves back up. It's nice to know that the ocean itself, once we have the poison immunity, is not that bad. But let's head up here. I want to see if there's any kind of buildings or anything up on the surface other than just um, <laughs> very, very unpleasant rain. Ooh, and I like how the lightning actually lights up that background. So there were tons of facilities even underwater. And we've got what looks to be junk pile blocks. That'd be kind of cool to use for the engine. Before I found the solution that I did. And these land masses seem to be quite larger than what you see on a normal ocean planet. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and beam back down and see what happens if we walk the other side. Oh, there's no rain. Okay, cool. I think 
that is a little bit better and look at this we found something right off the bat more garbage mutant legs yeah this is probably a bad place for a fish person to want to hang out but let's see how big the land masses are here and I still have another bit of antidote so it's not gonna hurt me that much if we run out I still have a hundred oh there's the bad uh, bad rain just keep underneath the surface here until we find another landmass. And that thing, that place has some range. Or that rain does. And I figure it's kind of telling that this will probably be the last planet that we see Zen on. Because this is kind of a reminder to him. Because he's seen, I mean, he's seen environmentalism uh, gone awry with the Florin and their warlike ways. So it kind of fits to see Zen look at things from the other side of the pond and see what heavy industry or heavy industry can do. And Zen, ironically, or maybe non-ironically, wants to find a balance between nature and technology, which I think he's tried to do on the Mako. And here we go. And I think this is Probably all that we're going to see here are these like little mining areas that have gone horribly awry. The interesting trees and now this right here, I, I would consider more of a dead world than the actual dead world we visited. So back we go. Now the hover bike from what the little I've seen of it, it's pretty much what I expect. It's just... Yeah, I can go ahead and just park it right there in the cargo hold. And I think that's probably gonna be it, guys. It was just a... That's just for quick travel. Don't really, uh... No real need for it. So... I will go ahead and end it here, and who knows, we may see Zen and Ziggy again, if they're still around when the game actually leaves beta, but we will uh, cross that particular warp gate when we find it. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help, and we will see you guys in the next series. Later days, everyone.